On a hot August day 20 years ago, Inez Hartman crouched in a field of sunflowers, trying to find the courage to make a break for freedom past armed Hungarian border guards. The 23-year-old East German, who'd grown up in the communist East, was only hundreds of yards from the forbidden West. And when she ran that day with three friends, Inez Hartmann helped set off a chain of events that broke open the Iron Curtain. That spring, the Hungarian government had started taking down the electrified fence along its border with Austria. But guards were still hunting down and turning back East Germans who tried to cross. They've caught seven today. Yes. And they're looking for two more. Yes. We don't return to East Germany, never. East Germans who were not allowed to travel to the West could visit communist Hungary on vacation. And they began pouring into the capital, Budapest, hoping for an escape route. This is the Austrian border. From here, it's less than 50 miles to Vienna. The East Germans, lucky enough to make it across, know they won't be prosecuted. And more importantly, they won't be sent back. It's rare when you cover a story that you realize you're witnessing history. But as the crowd of nervous East Germans, many of them kids with little to lose, began building in Budapest that summer, I remember feeling something was about to burst. This is the CBS Evening News. On August 14, 1989, Inez Hartman's escape led the CBS Evening News. It's an exclusive report that dramatically illustrates the changing face of Eastern Europe. And the dominoes soon began to fall. Within weeks, Hungary opened the floodgates. And tonight, Hungarian officials decided they couldn't wait any longer. Allowing thousands of East Germans to cross legally into the West. I am free. <laughs> I am here, yeah, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Communism was cracking under pressure. Two months later, the Berlin Wall would fall. Today, Inez Hartmann, now Inez Fowler, lives quietly with her two children in the small village of Keilbarau. She recalls that August day in 1989 vividly. Riesenangst. I was terribly scared that somebody would come out of the sunflower field and put a gun to my head, she says. But freedom, it turns out, was not all she hoped for. I came over with the expectation that everything was going to be better and easier, she says. Actually, the opposite happened. Jobs were hard to find for a while. She was married, then divorced. But she has a small apartment, a job in a clothing store, and no regrets. No, she says, not at all. It was worth the risk, and I have a story to tell. A story to tell her children. I am, I am very proud of her. I think she was a very, well, brave young woman, and I admire her for that. When Inez Hartmann made her break for freedom 20 years ago, she just wanted to see the world. It turns out she helped change it. Anthony Mason, CBS <laughs> News, New York.